Whoa. Uh. <laughs> Do we pronounce it? Whoa. Uh, windows on arm. Whoa. Uh. The, uh, yeah. A mere few hours after we spoke last week, Microsoft <laughs> made what I would consider to be their biggest announcement of the year. What? <laughs> we, we speculated last week that they <laughs> might be doing this, right? I know. We knew, no. but we were under uh, NDA. Oh, you couldn't say. Right. Oh, you are cagey. Yeah, we were under a tight one on that on that particular news. <laughs> if I was as giddy as a schoolgirl last week, Leo, it's because something wonderful was coming. <laughs> Why is this such a big deal, though, really? <clears throat> tell me, tell me. If you think you know. I, well, I mean, from my perspective, and... You know me, I'm a wild-eyed dreamer type. Um, <laughs> I, I really, <clears throat> no, I, I really do see this as a major reset for the PC industry. I, I, when, when Microsoft adopted ARM for Windows 8, I was so full of hope for that because I felt like this was Windows NT all over again. This was them having a chance to get this thing right again, you know? And of course, they came up with Windows RT, which was a piece of steaming garbage. Um but I, I always felt like that was kind of a missed opportunity. And so now they're doing ARM again. And the big, well, there's two big differences. One is that ARM has progressed to the point where modern ARM processors are as powerful as Intel processors. But they don't come with any of the power management and battery life problems that Intel consider, continues to struggle with. And Microsoft has figured out a way to emulate x86 on ARM, meaning that we can run Win32 desktop applications, Photoshop, iTunes, Chrome, whatever. Supposedly at full speed, right? And, and by the way, in games as well. Um, I'm not saying that like the latest Call of Duty is going to run with 60 frames per second, uh, you know, whatever. I, I don't think we have those advanced graphic capabilities yet. That's a different story. But, you know, for mainstream Windows users, this opens up a new world of portable computers. And I should say that's the other amazing thing about this announcement. It's for portable computers. It's not for phones. Although, you know, that may change. They've talked about different screen sizes. I think Mary Jo has something about that. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the initial push for late next year, uh, for a couple of devices probably, and then more like 2018, is going to be at redoing what we think of as the laptop, essentially, the laptop form in two-in-ones and, you know, mobile PCs. Full Windows 7, uh, full Windows 10, sorry. Um, full Windows 10, I don't know all the SKUs exactly. They wouldn't say exactly, but meaning there's also going to be an Enterprise Edition. So full domain support, all the stuff that Windows RT couldn't do. Yep. Um, <clears throat> I think this is it. I think this is the this is the thing I thought Windows RT was going to be, and it wasn't. And it's going to result in a, a, this kind of new class of PC that has cellular data built in. Microsoft's going to sell cellular data uh, through the Windows Store from a variety of uh, carriers in every country. Um, so you'll be able to buy data and be able to switch seamlessly between cellular and Wi-Fi like people do today on phones. Um, and so we're going to see devices that work, that look and work exactly like a PC, that run the same applications, that get killer battery life, have constant connectivity, and none of the downside of all the stuff that we've had uh, over the years with Intel. Mm. Am I losing you, Mary Jo? No, I agree. Like I think it's very interesting. Like, yeah. oh, I can't wait I'm to just, share this one. No, I, I, I have a lot of questions about how this is going to work in the real world. Yeah, I think it sounds amazing on paper, but it's like, okay, are you really going to be able to run Win32 apps at a decent speed in emulation on these things? Hmm. Right. So here's all I'll say to that, because we don't know, right? We Neither one of right, us knows. Know. But what I yeah. can say is what we were told, which was that they were preparing this demo to go on stage. Mm -hmm. And, yep. you know, they're looking at this, you know, ARM-based PC running Windows 10, and it's like, <clears throat> look, we're going to, we want to show Photoshop. And the theory yeah. is, well, don't, don't launch Photoshop. I mean, Photoshop takes forever to launch, even on a real PC. Right. And whoever had put this demo together said, no, we are launching Photoshop. We're going to do it in real time. I want people to see how fast that is. And actually, you can watch the demo for yourself. It go, and I'm not, that doesn't equate to performance, right? right. Obviously, day-to-day right. -day performance, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But, um, <clears throat> you know, remember uh, WOA, Windows on ARM, uh, back in the day. <clears throat> sorry, I'm so excited. I'm verklempt here. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> sorry. I'm just crying just thinking about this. Um, you know, back in the day, Windows on ARM, you know, the big demo was like, look, we can print. <laughs> you know, it was like, it was like this Play School OS can print. 
And 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 this time, here we are, four years later, and it's like we can run Photoshop full speed. And oh, here's a game we're running full speed. You know, so it's a different world. Yeah. We'll see. But you're right, I, though, to doubt. I mean, yeah. we'll, we'll I see mean, what the reality is. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. And the first devices we're expecting to see running this are probably holiday slash back to school 2017 period, right? The very At first. At the very earliest. I, I, in fact, I think what we're going to see next year is um, not going to be particularly impressive. I think the first. Right, I agree. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a small number of devices, not nothing uh, very serious. Yeah. And then I think the more, I think CES 2018 is going to be the launch pad for the real mm-hmm. big wave of devices. Yeah, I bet you're right about that. Um, yeah. You know, when I when I first heard about it before, well, well, it's weird how we heard about this, right? Like I had that tip about emulation on ARM that I ran the week before WinHack. And I just assumed that meant mobile because I'm like, okay, where does Windows yeah. 10 run on ARM right now? It runs on mobile, right? But yep. that wasn't what it was, it was they built a, an emulation layer to work on the full Win32 Win desktop version. So I, uh, th- yes, it's we incredible. had to piece I mean, that together, right? <laughs> the conversations we would have had, uh, that we have yeah. had, because there have been rumors about yeah. this. Yeah. I've heard, you know, not I, I don't mean me personally, people had heard that Microsoft had created an emulation thing that would re- let desktop apps run on ARM. And of mm-hmm. course, the first thing you go to is Surface Phone, docked mm-hmm. with Continuum, that's got to be what this is, right? Yep. Um, it, it doesn't mean that, you know, phone form factors don't happen down the road. I, I, right. But you have to wonder now if this thing works, if it's successful. This is the opportunity for Microsoft to basically make a phone-sized device that is a real PC. Yeah. You know, there's no reason it can't have a simple UI in front of it. Yep. Um, that you dock it in is a real. It's all, but it's always a real mm-hmm. PC. Not not because you would ever run iTunes. While you're talking yeah. on the phone, but there's no reason a six-inch screen can't have a phone, you know, phone calling capabilities, and it. it's going to have integrated cellular. Right. So that was the thing I asked Terry Myerson. So we get a little bit of time with him before this announcement, yeah. and yeah, the yeah. first thing I said is, "Okay, are you going to bring this to phones?" And he said, "You know, we're not trying a sharp distinction between phones and desktop. Ooh, that's that's an exact thing. That's very right. interesting." Then I said, "So what does that mean?" And he said, "You know, we're going to bring this new version." to six, 10 and 14 inch screens. Like he, he just had these numbers, right? It's like, oh, yeah. so they're saying Which, it's going to be all Which by the way, they didn't categories. say on stage, did they? No, they didn't say that on stage. So that, that was an yeah. interesting admission. Yeah, because I, I was trying to press them for the Surface Phone thing, right? I'm like, okay, is this how you guys are going to do the Surface Phone thing? Like that's where my mind's going, right? And he just right. said, you know, you're, you guys have this strong thought in your heads that there's phones and desktops, but we don't think of it that way. We think screen sizes. So there's the six inch category, the 10 and the 14. And we're thinking about it being available across all of those. 